I'm ABC 10 News anchor Max Goldwasser with some breaking news on an active scene out here at Rancho Bernardo in the Bernardo Vistas neighborhood. You can see behind me at the end of this cul-de-sac, that house on the corner there, several crews on scene to attack a, a, a single family residential house fire in that two story home. I'm going to get out of the way so you can see a better idea of exactly what crews are having to deal with here. I just spoke with San Diego Fire and Rescue Battalion Chief and he tells me the, the fire he first got a call around 2 11 of a fire originating in the attic of this home. I'm told the family of four lives there. I actually just got done speaking with the uh, mother of that family family of five but their two sons their teenage sons were inside the home at the time. I'm told that they heard smoke alarms go off. They saw smoke coming out of the vents so they decided to call 911. Sure enough a fire in the attic of that home you can see the burn marks on the roof the roof collapsed and that is actually what injured one of the san diego fire and rescue firefighters i'm told he was taken away to the burn center at ucsd with minor injuries but again that roof collapsed of that home when two teenagers were inside at the time uh, we are still going to be on scene there are several responding agencies there are at least a dozen fire trucks, San Diego Police Department on scene, the city of Poway fire, San Diego fire, SDG&E. I actually followed an American Red Cross vehicle to get into this neighborhood. So a lot of responding agencies here at the scene. This is, of course, a developing story. We are going to stay on scene to learn as much as we can. But the good news here one firefighter injured with minor injuries. No one in the home at the time. Those two teenage boys are okay this afternoon. Reporting live in Rancho Bernardo, Max Goldwasser, ABC 10 News.